welcome back. This is the Book Mavens channel. I'm Amanda and I'm reviewing today the Theodore Goss series, The Athena Club. The first book is The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter. So I picked this up. It actually popped up on my scripts timeline. It's how I found it. But then I absolutely fell in love with the trilogy and I have purchased all of the hardcovers. Um, so The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter is the first book and it centers around Mary Jekyll the daughter of Dr. Jekyll, who finds herself in financial trouble after the death of both her parents. And in her efforts to try to find her way forward to figure out what she's going to do, she kind of gets enwrapped in the secrets of her father's past, which successively leads her to the other members of the Athena Club. First, Diana Hyde, who is the daughter of Mr. Hyde, then Justine Frankenstein, Catherine Moreau, um, and Beatrice Rappuccini. So I'm a huge fan of Sherlock Holmes. Um, if you love classic novels, Frankenstein, Dr. Moreau's Island, you're gonna love this book because it takes those stories and behind each of those kind of monster tales, there's a, a woman, right? There is a female character who is trying to um, they're trying to pull all the pieces together and to solve the mystery of kind of what the alchemical society is doing, which is kind of the big nemesis in this one. And it runs parallel to um, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson featuring the series, which is really fun. And it's written in a really fun, unique way. Um, it's written as, Kath so Catherine Moreau, who is the character that pulls in um, Dr. Moreau's Island. Catherine Monroe is writing these stories after the fact. So they're done in a retrospective way, but they keep getting interjected with dialogue between the characters, like they're reading over her shoulder as she's writing or she's asked them to review a section and then they, they kind of fuss and they bicker about the way she's portraying things or they give little tidbits away that, of what's coming in the book. And it's really just charming and honestly very effectively done because it kind of double layers um, you're getting to know the characters. So you you do switch perspectives, particularly in the later books, between the girls, and so you're kind of getting to know what they think, but then you get to watch their interplay with each other in these offhanded dialogues um, as, as Catherine is telling the story, um, which is a lot of fun. So you get to know their personalities even deeper. Um, the first one, The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter, I kind of whipped through because I loved it. And then the second book is European Travel for the Monstrous Woman, or Gentlewoman. It's quite a bit bigger. Um, I read a, an interview with her and uh, Theodore Goss, and they were talking about how she'd opted it as a trilogy, which kind of made me sad. The last book is Sinister Mystery of the Mesmerizing Girl, because I want this to be a continuing series so bad. I want her to write more of these because they're so good. Um, her depth of knowledge of, of the stories themselves, like the, the inspiring works, the Frankenstein, um, the Portrait of Dorian Gray makes an appearance, Dracula, her, her interweaving of those stories is quite remarkable. And, and the way she does it is very fresh. Um, sometimes, you know, with kind of a, I don't know that I classify it as a spinoff, but you know, sometimes with like a spinoff series, like Sherlock Holmes is probably one of the most made and remade, you know, figures in literature, but she finds a way to still make it really fresh and new and, and give you a different look. Um, one, one of the books, the review on the back said of Charlie's Angels had been written by Mary Shelley. And I think that's a pretty, that's pretty spot on. So if you're a fan of any of those books or, um, or just like awesome female leads trying to kind of solve their way through, then I would highly recommend the Athena Club. Um, and Theodora Goss, please write more of these. They The books do end, so each book ends um, in a way that is largely satisfactory. I will say there's a pretty, some cliffhangery elements at the each to get you to, you know, want to read the next one. But the story for the trilogy does wrap up in a way that's satisfactory, but I definitely see where she could write more adventure adventures of the Athena Club, and I would absolutely read all of them. So I highly recommend um, the Athena Club series by Theodore Goss. See you next time. Bye.